Hi everyone. Today I'll be talking about HIV. By the end of this module, you'll be able to describe what HIV is, list at least two risk factors for HIV, identify populations at risk for HIV, explain how HIV is transmitted, discuss how HIV is diagnosed and treated, and discuss how to prevent and control HIV. To achieve these objectives, we'll focus on the following areas. What is HIV? HIV facts. HIV risk factors. Populations at risk for HIV. HIV transmission. HIV diagnosis and treatment. And HIV prevention and control. So what is HIV? HIV is an acronym for human immunodeficiency virus. HIV is a disease that infects the human body and destroys its immune system. Here are some facts about HIV. Once the virus enters the body, it spreads, attacks, and weakens the white blood cells, which are the body's immune system. Once this happens, the white blood cells are no longer able to do their job. Thus, Gems that usually did not easily infect healthy people take advantage of their weakened immune system and cause what is referred to as opportunistic diseases. Opportunistic diseases include tuberculosis, cancer, meningitis, and pneumonia. As the opportunistic diseases take over the body, one ends up with AIDS, Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome. What causes one to become infected with HIV? There are many risk factors. Let's take a look at some of them. Abuse of alcohol, having multiple sexual partners, having unprotected sex, sharing needles, and lack of information. A number of people are at risk for HIV. Unborn babies can be infected in the womb during pregnancy, childbirth, or through breastfeeding. Migrant workers are also at risk for HIV, as they sometimes tend to sleep with people other than their regular sexual partners. Sexual workers, people who share contaminated strangers during drug use, men who sleep with men, are also at high risk for HIV. How is HIV transmitted? HIV can be transmitted to several pathways. Having anal, oral, or vaginal sex with someone who has HIV without using a condom can cause one to become infected with HIV. As mentioned earlier, sharing contaminated needles can also cause the disease to be transmitted. People can also be infected after receiving contaminated blood, organs, or tissue transplants. HIV cannot be transmitted through casual contact with an infected person. For example, a handshake or a hug will not transmit the disease. People with HIV do not usually have symptoms right away. Sometimes it can take up to 5 to 10 years for someone to have symptoms. However, in the first 2 to 4 weeks after infection, one may feel feverish, achy, and sick. The early symptoms last for a short while, after which there are no symptoms for years. Here are some of the symptoms that, la that show up later on. There's fever, there's weight loss, there are headaches, and there's a skin rash, among others. HIV diagnosis. Blood tests are the most common way to diagnose HIV. Some of these tests include ELISA and the CD4 cell count. These tests are able to detect antibodies to the virus. A rapid HIV antibody test can also be used to detect HIV in an infected person in less than 30 minutes. There is currently no cure for HIV. After being diagnosed with HIV, one may or may not be put immediately on antiretroviral therapy. 
antiretroviral therapy is a combination of HIV medicines that are taken every day at the same time by people living with the virus. Antiretroviral therapies do not cure HIV, but prolong life and help people live long, healthy lives. HIV prevention and control. Since HIV cannot be cured, the best thing is to prevent it. Here are some ways to prevent and control HIV. Abstinence, male circumcision, prevention of mother to child transmission. and prevention education. Voluntary counseling and testing also help. Thank you. Here are some references for further reading.